to Studio 701. Let's talk with someone who has made bathing their business. Yeah, after all this bath talk. So, creator of BB's Bath Bakery is joining us now, Becky Thompson. Thank you so much for being here today. Hello. So, if your kid doesn't like to maybe take a bath, um, you have some great ideas, some fun bath bombs for all ages. So, tell us a little bit about what you offer. Yeah, so we do. We, ca we make a bunch of our character bath bombs, um, which are just a hit with all of the kids. Uh, it kind of makes bath time a little less stressful for the parents. So, <laughs> but we do a lot of varieties. Um, I always tell people it's, it's not just for the kids, though. We have parents that love them just as much. Oh, yeah. So I love a good bath. So <laughs> I'm a sucker for all this stuff. Um, Becky, how long have you been doing this, and, and what exactly got you started? So I am, I've been doing this for two years now. Um, we created BB's Bath Bakery back in, in March of two, two years ago. Um, I started just because I, I loved bath bombs myself. I'm a sucker for a bath <laughs> as well. Yep. Um, so it was just kind of something I decided to just try just for myself in the beginning. And through kind of the trials and, and figuring out the recipe, I kind of came up with a really good product. And I thought, gosh, you know, this could be something. And so I knew I had to do something different than just the regular round bath bombs. Uh, so I took it a step further and decided to make shapes and make it a little bit more fun for kids. Would you mind holding up the Nintendo one? Yes. And I, w I just want to hold that up right for the camera. And then can you explain a little bit about some of the feedback you've gotten from parents who actually say, thank you, you have helped <laughs> make bath time a lot better for in our family. Yes. Yep. So that is the number one thing I hear from parents um, is just before, you know, their kids would cry and scream. And it was bath time was just a chore. And it was it just left negative um, an impact on parents and kids and everything. And so the number one thing we hear now is just thank you for making it fun. Um, the number one thing is the, the parents will buy a variety of different ones and then they make it a game. Then the kids get to pick out which bath bomb they want to use that night. And so it becomes just a more fun activity for everybody and it just leaves everybody just a little less stressed. Mm. And Becky, I know you've got some pretty cool shapes. You just showed us the, uh, the Nintendo controller, but beauty's on the inside. You have a cloud yep. that I was shocked <laughs> at what it does when it's in. Can you tell yep. us about what that is and what people should expect yep. when they so do a bath bomb with you? This is our cloud. It looks plain right now, but once it starts fizzing away, as it's going in, dissolving in the tub, it's going to have a rainbow that kind of shoots across your, your tub. In, so it's got like a little embed in the back of this that's a rainbow. So it kind of has the magic inside. Our, our shark kind of does the same thing. That one leaves a red trail. Oh, my goodness, a red trail. <laughs> that's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, this is our shark attack. Okay, that's, that's a good one for Shark Week, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, so how long does it take to make these, and what kind of goes into that? Um, so, you know, I, I have to thank my family. Um, they're, they're true supporters, and they help me. Um, my husband and I make the bath bombs, but we don't use any machines. We hand pack all of our, our bath bombs. And so day one is packing them all, putting them on the drying sheets. We have to let them dry overnight. And then day two, I actually go in and I hand paint every bath bomb. Um, and wow. then they have to dry for another 24 hours. And then we go on to the packaging phase. So it takes a little bit to, to get the final product out to the customers, but it's worth it. Oh, yeah. That and sounds I like a labor of love. Yes. It <laughs> yeah. It's got to yeah. smell so good in your house. It does. Uh, <laughs> it does. What else do you have there besides the bath bombs? I see some other products. Yep. Yep. So we have our body lotions, um, which are great. Um, you know, sometimes people say, you know, especially with taking baths, um, it can dry out your skin. So we have our body lotions. Those just kind of help. It's a nice rehydrating lotion, mm -hmm. um, especially with our winter coming up here. That's going to be great. Uh, we also have our foaming hand soaps. These are not like kind of your over-the-counter ones. Ours are super concentrated. So one, two pumps, and you're going to be able to lav lather your whole arms. You're going to get quite a bit out of there. Uh, we got our foaming sugar scrubs, which are great for shaving legs. Um, <laughs> my husband even uses them for his face to shave. <laughs> so guys out there, they're not just for girls. Awesome. Um, and then we have our massaging bars of soap. Mm. Oh wow! So yeah, 
Yeah, right. this makes bath time sound very fun. Yes. Very good stuff. Well, Becky, we do want to let people know how they can order some if they're interested from watching this today. Yes. Absolutely. Yep, you can just go on to our website at www.bbsbathbakery.com. All right. Well, Becky, thanks again for being here. And folks, again, for more information, you can head over to their website uh, or their Facebook page at at BB's Bath Bakery. And uh, yeah, that was some pretty good, pretty good stuff over there. I can't wait to get that Nintendo controller for the little ones. You said your boys would.